So Rick Glassman was a huge hit last time when we talked about him completely steamrolling Brendan Schaub and Brian Cowling on their own podcast on when he was on the fighter and the kid. And a few days ago, he laced up his gloves again and took shots at none other than Andrew Schultz. Now, this happened during his most recent podcast episode, and this was with the, the guys from uh, Are You Garbage, who are both from New York and very close friends with Schultz. We just came back, uh, and he said whatever the f*** he said. Mm-hmm. And now we're he back probably keeps this all in. I think so. Sometimes. Sometimes it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's great. Sometimes it's fun when you have people. You're the only one doing this, right? I mean, I no one else is doing it's something like this crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this podcast. I forgot the name now, but it's a dude. He's doing some cool things. Like yeah. he's brought like animation to it, like cool ways to do his ads. I'll, I'll show you. Really? Yeah, it's kind of dope. All right, that's fine. I want to see. That, it's not that much work. So that's, yeah, it's okay. kind of dope. Right. But don't tell them about it. No. Because if we do it, I want to get all the credit. I don't want to be... Oh, right. yeah. That's That's I'm not naming the podcast. <laughs> yeah, good, good. We're not I mean, it. I had an idea where we should bring animation yeah, to it and shit yeah, like that. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. You know what I'm saying? Because some it. people, they don't want to give credit. <laughs> We're morphing into just one yeah. New York City should we comic. Should switch yeah. our outfits right now? Right now. Mid-pod, yes. right nobody now. will know so the can difference. Can we please? Okay. Please? Okay, yeah, I'm fine. You got to snap and then do it. Oh, okay. Oh, I already can't snap. Guy's going, this guy's going for the king. <laughs> hey, you're beef, town, so you're beef. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, show a little respect yeah, to the king of New York. About? What are you doing? Is he the king? I yeah. I mean, I don't know any. There's nobody in New, of New York in New York Schultz-y? really bigger than him. Yeah, got one of the biggest. That's how pods. we roll over here. Um, you got to kiss the ring. This ain't Reseda. Now turn your phone. Laurel Canyon or whatever you're in. We'll rough you up out here, Ricky. All right, you're a good kid. Now, Rick taking shots at Andrew Schultz at this moment is very interesting for multiple reasons. First of all, Rick has been killing it lately, and most recently uh, he was in. He stayed in New York for a little bit and recorded a bunch of podcasts, including the one with the uh, guys from Are You Garbage? So him taking shots and completely trashing Schultz with that video it's a pretty bold move. And the video that Rick played may look a little bit confusing because there are a lot of details in it, but here's what's going on. So about a year ago, Andrew Schultz and the guys from the podcast were essentially joking around about uh, taking someone's idea, which was to do animations on the podcast. And clearly they were talking about Rick Glassman, but they didn't say his name. You take a couple hundred pounds off me real quick. You get, you, listen, hey, listen, Tom? The same couch. The, the position. Hold on a second. And I, and I, and I don't want to be... Whoa, holy <laughs> Dude. What happened? What, what happened? happened? What are you doing? Go low or something? You look great. He just talk a, he just took a couple hundred pounds. Oh, off you did? Did you slim me out? <laughs> yeah. Right, you want to cool. see again? Hey, you're nine feet tall. One more time. <laughs> All right. Hey, there you go. Good. Yeah. The slim fast must be working. This is my superpower. Oh my god. I thought you just could name rappers. Oh God. Yeah. You have, and you know you do. You can roll in. Good <laughs> <laughs> thing I took my shoes off. Oh, disgusting. I'm sorry about that. Oh, what did you eat? Uh, well, even though you could argue that it was a joke, they still didn't give him any credit. They didn't give him a shout out. And they kind of mocked him by using his editing style and then saying some comments that it wasn't that hard to do referring to the animation. Should we just switch yeah. in our outfits right now? Right now. Mid pod yeah, and right nobody now. will know so the can difference. Can we please? I'm fine. Oh, you gotta snap and then do it. But how are we gonna snap? We'll... Oh, f- <laughs> I already can't snap. <laughs> so you're saying they're biting your <laughs> And I gotta tell you something. It's all real. Thanks, man. And if you like Snap Bits, make sure to check out Take Your Shoes Off podcast. And we're back. So Rick Glassman, being the savage that he is, essentially cut to a video of another podcast with him and another person. And in the background, there was Andrew Schultz and Akash doing the 69 maneuver to each other. And it was obviously blurred out and I blurred it out. I blurred it out even more, but you can see the original on Rick Glass's on Rick Glassman's podcast. He also had some other little animations come into the frame with like sponsors and 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 some plugs, which is pretty smart. And honestly, that's a 
that's a crazy wild move. There's no way that Andrew, Andrew Schultz doesn't reply to that because it doesn't get any more clear than that. I mean, it's a straight call out. If you watch the podcast, it's clear that both Kevin and the H Foley guy were a little bit uncomfortable and shocked that, uh, that Rick Glassman actually said that. And in a way, jokingly, we're defending Andrew Schultz and it's understandable. Uh, they both did each other's podcast, I think two years ago. And, uh, Andrew Schultz has been very supportive of the Are You Garbage guys, so I don't blame him for that. But to say that Andrew Schultz is the king of New York, I think that one is a little bit of a, a little bit of a reach. Don't get me wrong, Schultz is killing it online and on tour and every everywhere else. But when it comes to just pure comedy, I don't think he's up there, especially not in New York. And now. The other reason why the timing of this is so interesting is the fact that not too long ago, a few days ago, Mark Harley, Brendan Schaub's ex-assistant, who we also talked about it in another video, he essentially shared a story about a fight between Brendan Schaub and Andrew Schultz that got so heated and ended up with Joe Rogan getting involved. And it was essentially about uh, stealing or taking an idea which is literally what Rick Glassman is calling Andrew Schultz out for, which is crazy. Now, this is a story that was posted directly by Mark Harley himself, so we'll read it over and break it down since there's a lot of very interesting information in it. So let's get started. So Brendan had an idea for a Gringo Poppy promo video. He wanted to essentially make a parody of the Dave Chappelle promo with Morgan Freeman, where they're driving in the truck and Freeman is doing a voiceover and Dave gets annoyed and reveals that he's actually next to him in the truck. So for Brendan's version, he hired Bruce Buffer at a friend rate, but it was still $10,000, I think for one day, plus production expenses. Whole thing was estimated to be $15,000. The concept is virtually the same. Brendan's driving through the hills of Calabasas as Bruce hypes up this special in his patent and his patent voice and term. The shoot goes great, didn't get to see the final product, but by all accounts, it was just what Brendan wanted. This was close to when Chappelle released his comedy special, as Brendan was initially going to release it in the fall so that it would still be somewhat fresh in people's minds. Apparently, Ward got back to Schultz not long after the shoot. Not sure how he texted Brendan like it was an emergency, very urgent and demanding. Like, text me back ASAP, urgent. I remember the word urgent was used. He texted twice because Brendan was shooting King in the Sting and didn't respond immediately. So after the episode wraps, he steps into a room at Thick Boy to call Schultz. He picks up the phone, red hot, and this is uh, the best recollection of what was relayed according to Mark Harley. Andrew goes, we got a problem, Shab. Huh? Schultz, you stole my idea, Brendan. What? Schultz, Bruce Buffer, dude. Shab, yeah. Schultz, he's been going around the country opening my shows and is on my special. Shab, dude, relax. This is a totally different idea. Andrew, you can't use the promo. Shab, the f First of all, I just spent $15,000 on this. I'm not just going to dump it because you're upset. Secondly, if anyone has a claim on Bruce Buffer, it would be me. He used to announce my fights and I've been friends with him longer. And here's the thing. I'm actually with Brendan Schaub on this one simply because I thought that the whole, you know, Bruce Buffer introdu introducing Andrew Schultz as the heavyweight champion of the world was a little bit cringe. I mean, there was no connection to MMA uh, rather than just comparing it, comparing comedy to MMA in some sort of way. But when it comes to Brendan Schaub, obviously he's an ex-MMA fighter, professional fighter. And uh, like he said, Bruce actually announced his fights or, you know, introduced them on, on actual fights. And also don't quote me on this, but I think Michael Bisping had a wedding in which Bruce Buffer announced them, did something similar to that. So if anything, that whole thing is not an original idea coming from Andrew Schultz. It's It's been done a lot before. Okay, so let's continue. This is where it gets interesting because Andrew says, you don't want this smoke. This set Brendan off, I think rightfully, as it came off as a threat of some sort. I agree with him on that. Brendan Schaub, put me on speaker. I will beat the out of you and everybody else in the room who's listening in, into this call. Schultz, whoa, haha, no, no, no. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, um, you don't want these problems from the comic community when they see that you stole my idea. Andrew Schultz threatening Brendan Schaub and then immediately taking it back is completely hilarious because like him or not, Brendan Schaub might be the only comic that can actually say that he will beat everybody, uh, he will beat up everybody in a room and actually be able to do it. Maybe Joe Rogan, but I don't think so just because of this huge size difference. And what I think Andrew Schultz meant when he said he don't want to smoke 
clearly is coming from the perspective of like, hey, you're going to get roasted online if you do this, if you, if you copy me, uh, he's going to take shots at you on the podcast, roast you, make fun of you, whatever. So from that perspective, I can see why he would think that people would uh, pile up on Shaw. But even then, I don't think that would have been a huge problem. Here, Brandon responds with, I don't think everyone would side with you. Schultz responds, well, everyone in this room does. I think he had other members of the flag flagrant to chime in and say that it was a uh, that it was idea theft. So we continue. Brandon goes into the King and the Sting room and asks the other guys for their opinion. Brandon explains Brandon explains the situation and asks the Leah. Nah, that's stupid Schultz. Theo, man, Andrew Schultz. Quote. I don't know what that means. Uh, but Schultz says, okay, well, we got to figure something out. Shop says, yeah, you know what? How about we go to a neutral third party? We can ask Rogan for his opinion. Schultz says, okay, but whatever he says goes. Then Mark Harley says, my recollection is that they got off the phone, laid it all out for Rogan. And he says, well, I understand, I understand both sides, but you're trying to get Brennan to do something that he doesn't have to do. So how about Brennan? You don't air the promo, but Schultz has to pay you $15,000 for production cost. They agree. Schultz never pays Brennan. That seems to be the start of some tension. So according to that, Andrew Schultz essentially forced Brennan Shop to not release his uh, promo video for the gringo poppy and also stiffed him with uh, fifteen thousand dollars which is insanely aggressive if this entire thing is true because schultz didn't care that both theo and delia were siding with brendan schaub and telling him that he was completely overreacting so they had to go to joe rogan to put an end to this so now rick glassman andrew schultz and brendan schaub are kind of kind of in this like weird limbo where there, there's some tension between all of them. They all took shots at each other. There's some drama going on. But it's up to one person to either put an end to this, kill it, or turn it into a huge drama, a huge drama that'll be a, a, a thing in 2023 for the comedy scene. Who knows if Brendan Schaub will actually address this? I doubt it. But uh, Andrew Schultz has to. He definitely has to because that video that Rick Glassman played is just a complete this. It's just disrespectful. There's no way that they just ignore that. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe to support the channel. And uh, we just hit 30,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate that. So to all of you guys that watch my videos, thank you so much, for real. Um, dislike if you didn't like the video, but that is all we have for today. See ya.